take some time just to be with your breath, be with your mind, without any other responsibilities for the time being. Any other issues in the world, past, future, just put them aside. Be with the sensation of breathing in the body right now, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. When you notice where you feel the breathing in the body, the next question, is it comfortable? If it's not, you can change the rhythm and see if that makes a difference. Try to find a way of breathing that feels good. Keep on top of the needs of the body. Pay attention to it, because our attention gets diverted so much other things outside that the thing here in life that the mind depends on the most, the body, oftentimes gets overlooked. When it gets diseases, you usually don't know it until the disease has already taken, taken root. If you're really paying attention to the body, though, paying attention to the breath, you know things a lot earlier, be able to deal with them a lot earlier. It's the same with issues in the mind. Oftentimes greed, aversion, and delusion take over, and it's not until they're firmly entrenched that real we realize that they're there and that they are a problem. But if you're alert to what's going on in the mind, you can see these things when they come in just small doses, in the beginning steps, and you can deal with them, especially if you're coming from a sense of well-being. You have to watch out for the tendency where the mind likes to be angry or likes to be greedy. You have to remind yourself that a lot of damage gets done that way. You have to be on the lookout for the early warning signals. And you'll see them if you stay with the breath, because the breath keeps you right here. As long as you're with the breath, you know you're in the present moment. And whatever else comes up in the present moment, it's going to be there. It'll have to show itself. So learn how to stay here. And as you go back and forth over the breath, as John Lee used to say, it's like going back and forth over a path. You've seen it many, many times, so the little tiny changes you notice immediately. If you're only going on about the path once, you wouldn't notice that it was a change. You'd think that's just the way the path is. But when you're familiar with the path, then you see oh, something's up, something's going on. It may be the, the nose of a snake or the nose of a rat, something in the side of the path that warns you. Okay, there's danger up ahead. And because you're well warned, then you can deal with it. And same with the mind. A little bit of nose of anger, a little bit of nose of greed, you'll notice it right away. You can deal with it because you're right here. It's not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed you can do this. You can do this as you go through the day, be grounded in the breath. And we don't have any other duties or activities you have to pay attention to. You can come back to the breath as your home base. And you begin to see things that you didn't see before, notice things you didn't notice before. Because they're still weak, you can deal with them. And if they're good qualities, you can encourage them. So get to know this path really well. Take the time to look after your body, look after your mind. Those are your most important possessions right now, particularly the mind. So don't abandon it for other things that are of less value.